Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going, we are going to see the example, the first example of VRA actually. Here I'll explain you how the VRA collection type work, how we can make a small program uh, to understand the VRA concept of uh, PLSQL collections. So for that I have written a small program here uh, where I have declared something here and in our begin section i have written a small code and then i'm ending the block here so what is there in declare section i am declaring a type first a vra type uh, first so here i have written the type keyword which is actually very important to declare any type then the name of the type this is user defined name you can write anything then the keyword is and vra and here we have to uh, mention the size of the elements actually size of the vra how many elements we want to pass in our vra type uh, database objects okay or you can say vra type uh, variable all right and which is of number type so this is gonna declare you this is gonna tell you that what kind of elements you are going to store whether you will be storing number uh, number type of element or varsha type of element or date type of element so this the, the uh, this data type will declare this the thing actually okay so uh, as we all know that uh, we are is we are is of uh, bounded uh, in nature so we have to declare the size of vr always whenever we will declare vr type of collections okay so after declaring this type i have uh, created a, a variable here which is of this type i mean vr type and here i'm passing some value into it we, we used to pass the value somehow like this if we have a small amount of elements or you can say two three elements then we can pass uh you know a uh, variable uh, element in this way actually but if you have large number of elements suppose you have 100 numbers you want to pass in this uh variable so in that case i'll show you another thing how to pass the variable actually so this is just a small program this will just give you an idea how to work with vra type collection okay so after declaring the variable under begin section i have written here for loop how i have written for i in one two v object dot limit v object means this is a variable variable size variable dot limit limit is the number of the elements actually it will give us the total count of the elements present in this uh, variable okay then the keyword loop and here i have written v object dot i this will give us the element number actually and equals to multiplied by i if we will get value as one so we will get result as two multiplied by one equals two if we will be getting value as two then we will get result as two multiplied by two equals four okay and we are printing the same value here all right so hope this thing uh, this small program is clear to you let me copy this program and paste in our sql workshop and uh, run the code yeah now run this okay before that let me increase the size of the window okay so now run the code as you can see we got the output as 2 4 6 8 10 why we are getting like that because we have elements like 1 2 3 4 5 and every time we are getting first first we are getting the value as 1 then we are getting uh, output as 2 because 2 multiplied by 1 equals 2 and uh, in second iteration we are getting value as 2 so 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4 so this is how we are getting uh, 2 4 6 8 10 okay our last element is 5 so we are getting 2 multiplied by 5 equals 10 okay so hope this example is clear to you all right let's jump to sublime text again and uh, i'll just explain you what is this limit okay i have written the limit the definition of limit limit is a collection method which returns the maximum number of elements which are allowed in the vra okay so this is what gives us the maximum number of elements in the collection type okay and uh, one more thing i want to tell you that suppose if you will not pass any value here okay you don't have any elements here and we will run the code then what happened let's see Control c and paste here delete the old code and paste the new the new one and run the code in that case we will get an error actually subscript beyond count actually we are not getting any element here so our our program is not able to understand what we are actually passing what result we want so that's why we are getting this error as subscript beyond the count okay
Now again, let's jump to Solvine text. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to tell you that if we have a lot of data here, here currently I'm just I just have taken five elements. Suppose we have hundred number of elements here. In that case, this is very tedious or very you know not a good way to declare or not a good way to pass an hundred number of elements here. So in that case, what we can do? We have another procedure, uh, a pre-built procedure in Oracle Engine actually. That procedure is extend. Extend is a procedure which allocates the memory and appends the element to VRA. Okay. If used without argument, it appends single null element. If used with argument, then it appends a number of elements. Whatever you know, the number we will be passing here. We have to use uh, the extend uh, procedure somehow like this. Okay. To collect him where and is. Uh, and would always be an integer and supplies as argument to the procedure extend. I'll show you in my uh, below code here. So what I, I have done here, I've declared the type first, VRA type collection first. Then I've declared a variable which is of this type, and uh, and uh, here I have I have defined the uh, the collection first. Then here I have declared a variable which is of this type, and I'm not passing any element. If you're uh, observing here i am not passing any element what i have done i am using uh, this procedure this extend procedure to get the element and i just have to pass number of elements whatever the size of the vr here okay so i'll just pass the number and we will get the output same as i we were getting in previous program let me co uh, let me copy this code and run in our sql workshop control v and run this code Okay, so as you can see how we are getting the value, the results. So uh, this is how our, this extend procedure makes our work easy and and uh, yeah, easy actually. Okay, and one more thing in our for for loop, uh, I just want to tell you, if you have like if you have uh, ten number of elements, 10, the size of the VR is ten. So either you will pass ten here, or what you can do. Suppose you will be writing this extend uh, procedure in our uh, under our for loop. In that case, no need to pass the size. Actually, you have to make sure that no need to pass the size. By default, the for loop will handle that that thing. Actually, okay. Let me run this code. And uh, okay, okay. One sec. Let me check the size as five, and then run this code. Okay, sorry. Actually, I have not. We have to delete this because unnecessary. It is taking, you know, uh, it is also also getting executed in our block, which is actually not relevant. So let's run now. So as you can as you can see, we we got the we got the output. If you will increase the size here, we will get uh, more results. Yeah. So two, four, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So as you can see, we are getting a, a output like this. So this is how our V array type collection work. Okay, and how to how we use to write this extend key uh, procedure? We have to write this uh, the variable which is of V array type and dot extend. Okay, so this is very simple. Hope the concept of V array and this example is clear to you. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Thank you very much.